Hello, I'm Tim Lawton, a British Member of Parliament, former Minister for Children and Chairman of the Mindful Policy Group, which is an organisation consisting of child psychologists, politicians and others trying to improve the way that society looks at our children, improving parenting skills as well. Now, we're very lucky because one of our founding uh, members is Dr Penelope Leach, a world-renowned child psychologist, well known for many of her books, particularly back in the 1970s and the best-selling uh, book, Your baby and child from birth to age five. Now Penny is producing a new book particularly focusing on uh, divorce from the angle of the child in the whole divorce um, procedure. Divorce is a growing phenomenon I'm afraid in our uh, world as is family um, breakdown but very often it's seen through the perspective of the parents, through the practitioners, through the lawyers uh, and the courts. And what this book is intending to do, as Penny's now going to tell us, is look at it through the perspective of the child. So, Penny, this is an area that's been covered quite a lot in the, uh, in the past, but what is so different about the book you're now writing? What's different about this book is that the, the plethora of books about divorce are about adult problems, adult solutions... Um, they're very largely about property, uh, they're about adult justice. If you get a chapter on children, it'll be really very skinny. Um, we live in a world where not quite half of all 15-year-olds still have two parents living together. Mm. So divorce is something, not quite a majority of children, but very nearly a majority of children go through. And divorce is something we have to have. An awful lot of people can't live for a 70-year adult yeah. life in a monogamous relationship with one person. We have to have divorce, but we don't have to do divorce quite as badly as we're doing it. We've learnt a great deal about children's development in the last 10 years, and there are many, many ways in which parents can separate the, the trauma of their divorce from what's happening to their children. Children in divorce tend to be treated as weapons yes. yeah. when actually they're the victims. And since most parents want to do the best by their children, I'm, I'm hoping that when they see that there are actual practical things that they can do that will ease this situation for their children, that'll be useful. So this book's really about how to do divorce better. That's right. Found a breakdown, divorce, like it or not, is a fact of... Uh, of modern life, but it's how to do it better, particularly from the perspective yes. of, a, of a child. Yes. And UK family justice and divorce is changing, changes to uh, legal aid, and of course the government is bringing in new legislation, which is about a presumption of shared parenting, to try and make sure that both mum and dad continue to have the responsibility and interest in their children after a, uh, after a divorce. Are you worried about some of those changes and the impacts they're, they're going to have on children in the future? I'm worried about the way they may be interpreted. Mm. I mean, the contact with fathers is even more important than we knew. I mean, there is now evidence that 16-year-olds um, do infinitely better in GCSE if they have a father who is interested in yes. them and partakes in their lives yep. than not. I mean, fathers really matter. But when you talk about shared parenting, there's a horrible tendency to see children as, oh, like dinner, I'm going to share it. We're going to have equally yep. shared dinner. Commodities almost. Oh, commodities, yes. So we get situations where children are spending a week with in mum's house and a week in dad's house and all kinds of horrible arrangements. I call them horrible because we do know that they are desperately wrong yeah. for children who need the security of a place called home and who, when very little, shouldn't be taken away overnight from what is usually the mother, the person they're attached to. And, you know, even in the courts, in the family justice situation, a lot of people just aren't aware of this stuff. I mean, there was a judge yesterday who, in court, announced publicly, attachment is piffle. Well, We've still got a lot of educating to do, haven't we? We have. And not least amongst the legal profession. I know something you've seen and something I see a, a, a lot of is those people involved in family justice, those people involved in the mechanics of divorce, it is all about the mechanics of that, that process, the role of the, uh, of the parents, the warring between often acrimonious uh, parents after an acrimonious um, split. This is looking at the perspective 
of the child. And as such, it's about educating not just the families of the, of the children, but the practitioners yes. who bring about those, uh, those splits and trying to make them more child-friendly. And like that judge yesterday, yes. actually aware of the fact that the children have a role in all of this, and that child is still going to have two parents after a divorce, and that child needs both of those parents to be a part of their lives. And will still need both those parents when he or she is what we call grown up. You know, there's a growing trend, particularly as people marry once, twice, three times, um, to stay together for the sake of the children until they're grown up. As if, once they're 18, 19, or they go to college or whatever, they won't mind. Mm. And there is substantial evidence that that's dead wrong. The, the children we are doing worst by are the youngest and the oldest. Yeah. The children in the middle tend to make it very clear when they're upset. Yeah. You know, they throw chairs in school and they throw food at yeah. home and nobody could miss the fact that they're upset. But at the beginning and the end, we are doing much worse than we need. I mean, if I could call this book Divorce for Dummies, I would. But that sounds like how to divorce, which is not what it's about. It's about how to divorce with less pain for your children. So the book can be used by parents, by family members, by practitioners, by Charities, organisations involved with uh, with getting a better deal for children and for uh, and for families, and the ultimate aim of all this is to get a better deal for uh, children and a better relationship between children uh, and their parents, whether it's still together or it's after divorce. And I gather the the royalties and book are going to be given to the Mindful Policy Group as uh, as well yes. to continue the work that we're doing. Yes, I, I you know if there are some royalties, that's where they're going. They're not going to me. They're going to Mindful Policy Group because I believe that's a group that can really affect policy. Um, and that's a very difficult thing to do. So there's something in this book for everybody, for those people with, <laughs> with children, for those people interested in children, for those people whose job is to deal with, uh, uh, with children, for those people whose job is to split families up in the, uh, in the courts through the divorce um, procedure, but hopefully doing divorce better, but particularly doing the divorce better in the interests of the children. And that's what you hope to achieve out of this book. Very much hope to, yes. Penny, a lot of people I know are looking forward to reading this uh, book. Good luck with it. A little bit more work still to be uh, yeah. done, but it's going to yeah. be a fascinating uh, read. And I hope that a lot of people go out and learn something from it, because I'm sure I'm going to. Thank you, Tim. Thank you.